All right, now, turning to page 72. A few more examples. So example number two, part one. A rock is dropped from a bridge. It takes 1.35 seconds for the rock to strike the water below. And the question is, how high is the bridge above the water? Now, once again, does this involve gravity? Well, yes, it does. So the first thing we do before we do anything else is the inventory. And now we go back to the question and we RTFQ. All right, a rock is dropped. That tells us that we have an initial velocity of zero and we have gravity going on, which is 32. It takes 1.35 seconds for the rock to strike the water below. Well, there's our time. And the question is, how high how high is the bridge above the water? Well, that question is displacement. So once again, our old friend, final velocity, VF, is the odd man out. And so the magic formula that we will use here is displacement equals 0.5 AT squared. Once again, we just plug and chug. 0.5, 32, one point three five squared. That equals sixteen. One point three five squared. I got one point eight two three if I round it. And my answer is 29.16. And again, keeping our eye on the ball, that's displacement. And so the unit that we'll use here is feet. Part two. Part two. How fast is the rock traveling at impact? So again, it's still an acceleration problem. We will use the original data as often as we can. Now, sometimes we will have to use derived data, uh, but we try to avoid that as much as we can. It's just good hygiene. So the original data is initial velocity is zero, acceleration is 32, time is 1.35. And now the question is, how fast is it going at impact? That makes displacement the odd man out. Looking at your cheat sheet, the magic formula goes like so. VF equals AT plus VI. Plug and chug. 32, 1.35 plus zero. I got 43.2. Keeping our eye on the ball, that's velocity. So that's feet per second. All right. Not as bad as vectors, I think. All right, so we'll go on to the next page.